Sa pagpakigbatok sa COVID-19 sa atong nasod, importante ang kooperasyon sa matag usa Ang pagpuyo sulod sa atong balay, maoy usa sa pinakasimple apan pinaka-epektibong pamaagi aron dili makakalat ang virus. Pananglit, ikaw kining tuldok, himsog og basko. Nigawas sa balay, ang wala ni mo mahibaw i, may nakahimamat kag tao nga naay COVID-19. Piman i, lisod mailhan kung kinsa ang dunay virus. Apandali ka ayo kining mapasa sa uban. Mahimong napasa na di ay niya ang virus ng anha nimo. Sa dihang miubos siya, umihat sing o posibleng natakda na kay nakagunit sa parehong mga butang na kontaminado. Karon, aduna ka na'y COVID-19. Giisip ka na nga carrier nga makapanakod sa uban. Kay basin mulutaw paglabay pa sa pipila kaadlaw ang sintomas. Sama sa ubo, sipon, paglisod o ginhawa o hilanan. Mahimo pud nga wala kay gibating sintomas. Apan makapanakod gihapon ka. Pag uli nimo sa balay, mahimong makapanakod ka sa imong pamilya. Apil na ang imong lolo o lola o mga ginikanan nimo nga may edad na. Sila ang adunay pinakahinay nga depensa batok sa virus. Ang adunay sakit sa kasing-kasing, diabetes, high blood ug uban pang pre-existing conditions ug ang mga mabdos. Hinay ug ang pagbatok sa COVID-19. Kung naakdan ang tao nga hinay ug immune system, mahimong makaangkon siya og seryoso nga sakit ug kinahanglan nga dadun sa ospital. Sa padayong pagawas sa panimalay ug sa pag-adto sa mga pampublikong lugar, mahimo kang makatakod og tulo pa ka tao. Ug sila makapanakod ug mas daghan pa. 20% sa natakdan mahimong maospital, managhan ug managhan kini samtang mikatag pa ang virus. Sa nakadaghang pasyente sa COVID-19, may daghan pang dunay sakit nga anaa sa mga tambalanan. Ang mga pasyente nga naglisod ang kahintang, dili na maatiman. Wala nay lugar alang sa mga pasyenteng adunay laing gihambing balatian. Kaya natong likayan ang padayong pagkuyanap sa COVID-19. Kung naghuna-huna kita sa kaayuhan sa uban, kinahanglan natong maghuna-huna o muaksyon. Nga murag bit-bit na nato ang virus. Aron dili na kinimukalat pa sa uban. Sunda ang social distancing. O kung mahimo, magpuyo kita sulod sa atong balay. Kung kinahanglan yod nga mugawas, pirmeha ang usa ka metro nga gilayon sa ubang tao. Kinahanglang limpyo ang atong lawas ug ang palibot. Pirming manghugas sa kamot gamit ang sabon ug tubig. Ug i-disinfect ang mga butang nga pirming gigunitan. Ang importante, atong mapahinayan ang pagkuyanap sa COVID-19. Aron mo gamay ang kinahanglang magpa-ospital. Ug makuhaan ang mga Pilipinong nagkasakit. Mahimong epektibo lamang kini kung magpermanente kita sa atong balay. Sundon ang social distancing. Usa ka gamay sakripisyo alang si kinabuhi sa sama natong mga Pilipino. Magtinabangay kita. Atong sugpuon ang COVID-19. Patuloy pa rin ang laban natin sa COVID-19. And together, we can beat the solution. B. Bawal walang mask. I. Isanitize sa mga kamay. Iwas hawak sa mga bagay. D. Tumistansya ng isang metro. A. Alamin ang totoong impormasyon tungkol sa COVID-19. Protektahan natin ang sarili at mga mahal sa buhay. B. I. D. A. Beat the solution sa COVID-19. May dagdag na paraan laban sa COVID-19. Together, we can be the solution plus. Be the plus sa maayos na daloy ng hangin. Be the plus sa maikling pisikal na interaksyon. Be the plus sa pagsuporta sa bakuna. Be the plus sa mga kwento ng kaligtasan sa Bida Barangay. Sa dagdag na pag-iingat, maraming buhay ang maliligtas. Be the solution plus laban sa COVID-19.
Good day, Philippines. Good day, Bohol. Good day, GCGMH. Mga Kagalyares, welcome to the 121st Philippine Civil Service Anniversary with this year's theme, Transforming Public Service in the Next Decade, Honing Agile and Future-Ready Servant Leaders. Mga Kagalyares, I am Nurse Mark Vincent Sarigumba, your host for this afternoon's activity. Before we proceed further, let us pause for a moment to honor God's graces upon us with a prayer, and please remain thereafter for the singing of the national anthem, Bohol Hymn, and the Civil Service Hymn. Thank you. 
Hi mga kagalyares and for those who that who just tuned in in our live streaming welcome to the 121st Philippine Civil Service anniversary with this year's theme transforming public service in the next decade honing agile and future ready servant leaders mga kagalyares ako si nurse Mark Vincent Sarigumba your host for this afternoon's activity for those uh, who want to share or please share this live streaming so that we will reach more number of viewers and also expand the reach of Galliades. And for those who has not given it a thumbs up, please do give it a thumbs up or pwede ring pusuan. Okay, mga kagalliares? And at this point, let me announce that this afternoon we have a lot, we have prepared a lot and for you to enjoy. So you are going to win, you're going to enjoy the intermission numbers, and of course, we are going to award the loyalty awardees of GCGMH, those who have reached 25 years of service. As of this time being, mga let us lend our ears for the welcome remarks from our Samahang Empleyado ng GCGMH, Dr. Rosenda Lopez III. At the outset, please allow this representation in behalf of the officers and members of the Samahang Empleado Sagaliares Hospital to express our most sincere gratitude and appreciation to the management and to the host service for the support of this celebration. I am, of course, referring to our very own Medical Center Chief, Dr. Mutya Kismit Tirul Makuno, and of course to the head of the hospital operation and patient uh, support service headed by our Chief Administrative Officer, Ma'am Grace Galito, and to the rest of her staff, department and section heads, Fellow health workers, good afternoon. As your president of the Employees Organization of Governor Celestino Galliares Memorial Hospital, I'm urging you to continue to uphold our duties in serving the public by manifesting malasakit. We should always have compassion in work in serving our constituents and in achieving goal for a better future. And we should always keep a harmonious relationship with our co-employees at all times. Most of all, to the honorees, I have a deep appreciation and admiration for your loyalty and hard work in our institution, friends, Fellow health workers, we welcome you all to this virtual award ceremony of the 121st year anniversary of the Philippine Civil Service Commission. And once again, good afternoon. Thank you so much, Dr. Lopez. Okay, so at this point, mga kagalyares, atong basahon ang mga comments nga gikan sa atong mga kagalyares na naminaw o nagtanaw sa ato ah, karong uh, orasa. Okay, so if you have well wishes and greetings, please do go to our comment section. And our first one is coming from Ma'am Tedina Masong. Mayong hapon, kagalyares. Mayong hapon, Ma'am Tedina. And thank you for joining us this afternoon. We also have Dr. Michael Kodelmar from the Department of Surgery. Good afternoon, Doc. And thank you for joining us. We also have Ma'am Grace Galieto. Hi, Nurse Mark. Hello, Ma'am Grace. And thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And mga kagalyares, we also have Ma'am Daisy Laborte. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Mga kagalyares, this year's activity... We are being graced. We have also Ma'am Junisha Simakon. And good afternoon, Ma'am. Okay, so for this year's activity, we are going to have a lot in store for you. But before we reveal those 
stuff that we have prepared for you. Let us lend our ears, our heart, and our mind to the inspirational message from our Medical Center Chief, Dr. Mutya Kismet Tirol Makulo. Hello. Good day to all of you. How are you? I am your humble friend and colleague, your current Medical Center Chief 2 of Galliaris Hospital, Dr. Mucha Kismet Tirol Makuno, and I am here to greet you an amazing, happy 121st anniversary of the Philippine Civil Service, which we are celebrating this month. It's actually about to be, you know, over in the next couple of days. Nevertheless, I will not allow this chance and opportunity to greet all of you because we are all colleagues here in this government agency that we are working right now. Never mind that sound, let's just continue with what we are doing. So, as civil servants and as member of this big, strong health sector organization as one of the national government agencies in the whole of the Philippines, we have a special responsibility. That is why, if you allow me to read this one, the civil, the civil service is also introducing a 10-year overarching theme Transforming public service in the next decade, honing agile and future-ready servant heroes. Reflecting the path the civil service has to take to build on the gains of last year's modernization efforts in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic and the role of HR in building a competent and credible workforce in this what they call as new normal for me this is not a new normal for me this is now the way of life for me this is one of the huge responsibility amongst all of us as civil servants to lead that path towards transformation we cannot allow to be stymied with what's happening we have to go on we have to live with what's happening right now and yes this theme is transforming public service in the next decade. Honing. What is honing? It is to sharpen agile and future-ready servant heroes. So how can we be future-ready if we will not adapt with what is now the way of life? So let us not stop thinking, oh my God, when is this pandemic going to end? Instead, let us focus on what we can do where we're going to do, how we're going to prepare, because that is our responsibility. Let us just enjoy, let's just be joyful, let's just be happy to continue to serve the people, the clientele, and support each other. That is our job. But if you say, why am I called servant? Servant is the best way to serve. Because if you understand what is the role of a servant? You will know how you're going to serve your brothers and sisters. So it is not actually just today that we are celebrating this or next year again, but it should be every day. So my dear friends, colleagues, brothers and sisters, let us go towards that transformation. Let us be here now. Let us be with each other like I am here for you. You should be here for me. Good day. God bless us all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Mutia Kismet Tirol Makuno. And indeed, from the words of our medical center chief, it's not, she, uh, if I am to quote her, uh, let's not call it the new normal because this is the life now. This is what we have now at the moment. And therefore, let's not start adjusting we have to really integrate in our systems what we have at the moment and for the years to come. Thank you so much again, Dr. Amutia Makuno. 
Okay, mga kagalyaras, just keep your comments coming at our comment section and we are going to flash them as soon as you comment them. And this year's hospital activity is sponsored by the Hospital Operations and Patient Support Service headed by our Chief Administrative Officer, Ma'am Mary Grace Galieto. Thank you so much. At this point in time, mga kagalyaras, let's have our first raffle. And for the mechanics of our raffle, we are going to divide the raffles into four parts and into our respective services. We have finance service, hops, and MCCO plus attached offices. We have medical service and the nursing service. So for the first one, we are going to have first the finance service. And we are going to draw three lucky winners of 500 pesos worth of grocery gift check. Okay? So are you ready, mga kagalyares? Let's start first with finance service. So kung mga, mga taga-finance na nag-minaw or nagtanaw na to karon, okay, if you are feeling lucky, type in in our comment section if you are lucky and ready to win our prizes or the prizes that we've prepared just for you. And of course, ang atong unang mananaog, but before tama determine ana ato sa unang spin ang atong roleta ladies and gentlemen spin roleta Congratulations, our first winner this afternoon, Miss Nicole Enriquez. You won 500 worth of gift check, grocery gift check. That's our first winner, and we are going to draw two more winners from the finance service. Pin Roleta. Congratulations, Mr. Kerry Casper M. Pinot. You are our second winner of 500 pesos worth of gift certificate. And for our third and last winner from the finance service, Spin Roleta. service congratulations mrs or miss nilda m balagulan there you have it mga kagalyaras congratulations to our first three winners all coming from the finance service so hops medical and nursing stay tuned because we will draw the winners as we go along with our activity this afternoon at this juncture, let us witness an intermission number from the Hospital Operations and Patient Support Service. Let's give them a virtual round of applause.
it's in the crib, mom. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. And if a nigga get an attitude, pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. I got the rollie on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Don and I'm on the best weed cause I got it going on. Going on, going on, going on. Drop it like it's hard. 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 Drop That's whiter than what's spilling down your throat. The phantom exterior like fish eggs. The interior like suicide was red. I can exercise you. This could be your fish egg. Cheat on your man. Wanna how you get a his egg? When the pimp's in the crib, mom. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. And if a nigga get an attitude. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. I got the rollie on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Don. And I'm on the best weed cause I got it. Pimps in the crib, mom. Thank you so much, Hops, for that hip hop number. Martha Galliares, at this point in time, Let's recognize our first batch of loyalty awardees for 2021. They are the members of the GCJMH family who have reached a milestone of 25 years in government service at GCGMH. Indeed, mga kagalyares, reaching a quarter of a century is never easy, especially in government service. And to do such feat is a feat in itself and it's only noteworthy and fitting to recognize such milestone our first hour d for this year's philippine civil service anniversary is mrs elaine durango talabo mom elaine as she is fondly called hails from the music town of bohol which is lobo she has three kids in what she considers as a fruitful and happy marriage. Mom Elaine graduated Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in accounting at Divine Word College of Tagbilaran. She started as Clerk 1 at GCGMH last August 16, 1996. Five years later, promoted as Clerk 2. 13 years after, as Administrative Officer 3. Last May 27, 2015, Mom Elaine was again promoted as Administrative for leading the Billing and Claims section. As a leader and head of the Billing and Claims, Mom Elaine is a dedicated worker and leader. Despite the stress and pressure from her job, she never hesitates to help clients. She is always smiling, which shows her positive outlook she never says no to the demands and requests from her superiors 
making her not only a good leader but a good follower as well, which makes a good leader great. Despite her motherly aura, she never hesitates to reprimand anyone. She says what is right for the betterment of the team. Mom Elaine is humble and soft-spoken and always tries to connect with her people. Mga Kagalyaras, it is my distinct honor to present to you our first loyalty awardee for 2021, Mrs. Elaine Dorango Talabo. Congratulations, Mrs. Elaine Dorango Talabok, for reaching 25 years in government service. Moving forward, our next RG is no other than Mrs. Thelma Habines Pandan. Mom Thelma comes from the beautiful town of Maripohok. She is married with a son and two daughters out of this happy marriage, as she said. She has a youngest. Her youngest daughter is working in Galliares as well as a radiologic technologist. Mom Thelma graduated Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in accounting, on the year 1991 at Divine Word College of Tagbilaran. She started working at GCGMH on June 24, 1996 as Clerk 1. She was then promoted as Senior Bookkeeper last July 11, 2001. From then, Mom Thelma was awarded as Best Employee in the Administrative Service last 2010. Her recent promotion was last March 13, 2014 as Administrative Officer 4. Mom Thelma, as fondly called by her colleagues, is depicted as very generous, kind, compassionate, hardworking, approachable, helpful, cool, and calm, and as what they say, always and all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, again, it is my distinct honor to present to you our second loyalty awardee for 2021, Mrs. Thelma Habines Pandai.
once again, congratulations, Mrs. Thelma Habines Pandai. Indeed, 25 years of service is no easy feat. I can tell you that. Even if you are just young in the service, like for five years and so, it seems to be tiresome, but to have reached 25 years is really something and it speaks for itself. Again, congratulations. At this point in time, let's read a few comments from our Cagallaras tuning in this afternoon. We have from Ma'am Rian Abid Vargas. Wow, congrats, Ma'am Elaine Durango Talabok. We also have another one from Ma'am Maria Rene Mahine Marincilio. Congrats, Ma'am Thelma. And another one from Ma'am Indang Simakon, former supervisor of the Department of Surgery. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, Ma'am Indang, for tuning in. Ma'am Indang was also a former awardee. We also have Ma'am Leti Bigao, magandang buhay, and magandang buhay too, Ma'am Leti. And we also have from Ma'am Bernadette, Ma'am Ian Byrne, good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. And we also have Ma'am Lorna Bahalia Anuba, God bless us all civil servants. Yes, indeed, especially during this time of pandemic. And we also have our finance management officer, Ma'am Sid Castillo, good afternoon, Ma'am Sid, and thank you for gracing this afternoon's activity. Mga Tagalyaras, we are going to pause for a moment in recognizing our loyalty awardees and we are going to have another round of raffles. And this time, we are going to be drawing the winners from our Hospital Operations and Patient Support Service plus the Office of the Medical Center Chief plus each at its attached offices. And we are going to draw three three lucky winners of 500 worth of gift certificate each winner. Okay? So, mga kagalyaras, I'm excited. I hope you are excited. For those who feel lucky for this afternoon, you might just win 500 worth of gift check or for grocery gift check. Okay? Let's, let's not keep you waiting. We are now going to identify the first winner. So, spin roleta. Congratulations to Engineer Gamaniel Corib Jr. Swerte kayo si Engineer Corib Karong Hapuna. Ikaw ang atong first winner from this part of the Rebels and fourth overall. Okay, are you feeling lucky? I hope you are because we are going to draw the second winner from this leg of Rebels. So, spin roleta. Congratulations, we have Sir Hiner O. Bulandai. You are our second winner from this leg of our raffles. You just won 500 pesos worth of gift check. Okay, I bet you're also excited to know who is the third one from HOPS, MCCO, or its attached office. So let's not keep you waiting. Tuyok Roleta.
Congratulations! Our third winner is Mr. Joel A. Palinko. You've won 500 pesos worth of grocery gift checks. So to all our winners so far, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Ug sa atong mga personnel coming from the medical and nursing service, Stay tuned. Kaya ato pang idraw ang mga lucky winners as we go along with our activity this afternoon. And of course, another activity is not complete if without another intermission number coming from our host service, the Hospital Operations and Patient Support Service. Mga kagalyares, let's enjoy this. Thank you so much, our personnel from the Hospital Operations and Patient Support Service. And as you, have, you can notice, they are very dancers and very talented indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mga kagalyaras, at this point in time, let's have our second batch of awardees for our loyalty awards for year 2021. Our personal reaching 25 years of government service here at GCGMH. Our next awardee is considered the confidently beautiful with a heart. She is no other than Dr. Maribeth Erasmo Magbanwa Jimenez. Doc Beth, as she is fondly called, was born, raised, and studied medicine in her native Davao, but found true love and career success here in the province of Bohol. Arrived in this province last 1995 as a single young doctor, Doc Beth started her residency training in our Department of Pediatrics. She married a lawyer with whom they have four children and their eldest a doctor as well. As a strong-willed, independent, and intelligent woman, Doc Maribeth hurdled the specialty board exam and became a diplomat of the Philippine Pediatric Society two years after graduating from her residency training. She was awarded the title of Fellow of the Philippine Pediatric Society ten years after being a diplomat. Her love of the department made her decide to be full-time consultant of the Department of Pediatrics of GCGMH, serving the hospital's clientele and at the same time helping young minds develop skills in the specialty of pediatrics. 
her dedication to the craft and to the service have paid off too. She was able to succeed the leadership of the Department of Pediatrics as its head and for this year as chairman, a position that has recently been recognized as belonging to her by the prestigious Philippine Pediatric Society in its announcement published in its website last month of this year. Truly, Dr. Maribel is a model employee of GCGMH, worthy of praise as she marks her 25th year of service in this prestigious institution. Mga kagalyaras, it is my distinct honor to present to you our third loyalty awardee for 2021, Dr. Maribeth Erasmo Magbanwa Jimenez. Congratulations, Dr. Maribeth Erasmo Magbanwa Jimenez. Truly, 25 years is very noteworthy indeed. Moving on to our fourth loyalty awardee for 2021 is another department head of GCGMH, another confidently beautiful with a heart woman, and she is no other than the head of the internal medicine department, Dr. Grace Tabada Kipit. Dr. Grace hails from the city of Tagbilaran. She graduated Doctor of Medicine at Mindanao State University in the year 1993. Dr. Grace started working at GCGMH last October 14, 1996 as Medical Officer 3 then promoted to Medical Specialist 2 on January 7, 2005. Climbing the ladder again on the promotion is Specialist Medical Specialist 3 on January 4, 2006. Her latest promotion is as the Medical Specialist 4 on July 15, 20, July 2, 2015. Her term as president of the Philippine College of Physicians the whole chapter run from 2015 to 2016. She is GCGMH, head of the Department of Internal Medicine since January 4, 2006. And of course, Doc Grace is very well loved by her colleagues as some of them have made an, an, a, an acronym of her name, Grace, G-R-A-C-E. G, meaning generous, with her time, mind, and heart to chair the Department of Internal Medicine. R, rational, meaning in her decisions and thoughts are based on reason, asking always both sides of any issue, and she does not dictate. And Doc Grace is considered A, meaning attentive, lays down facts for you to ponder and decide on. Not always I, but also for her, it is you and we. And we also have letter C, in which Doc Grace is considered 
considerate and prioritize the welfare of the department when committing to any task. She is humble to say, I don't know that about this. I will read on this and we will talk. Humility, indeed. And E, as efficient, to guide all residents and consultants to accomplish anything that will benefit the department. So there is a reason for her to do what she does and there is a reason for her to be where she is. Ladies and gentlemen, my distinct honor to present to you our fourth loyalty awardee for year 2021, Dr. Grace Tabada Keep It. Once again, congratulations, Dr. Grace Tabada Keep It. Indeed, another feather in what is already a decorated career. 25 years of service, government service here at GCGMH. Congratulations, Dr. Maribeth and Dr. Grace. Mga Tagalyares, moving forward. At this point in time, we are going to have another round of raffles. And this point, we are going to draw the winners from the medical service. And while waiting for our roulette to come in, let me just announce that from the medical service, we are going to draw six lucky winners yes you heard me right we are going to draw six lucky winners of 500 pesos worth of gift check grocery gift check each for the lucky winners and as you can see in our roulette it's very tiny because the medical service of course the biggest service of gcgmh and let's not keep you waiting let us now draw the first lucky winner from medical service tuyo roulette Congratulations to our first winner, Dr. Mario Ray B. B. Bosso. Okay, starting the afternoon with our first winner from the medical service, Dr. B. Bosso. Congratulations. Moving on to our second winner from the medical service, Spin Roletta. <laughs>
Congratulations to Dr. Teresa R. Villanueva. So from Pidia, we have surgery. So nagharos so far atong doctors, two out of two. Congratulations, Dr. Villanueva. Moving on to our third winner, Tuyo Roleta. Congratulations, Ma'am April Diane C. Lagrada. You've won 500 worth of gift check or grocery gift check. You are our third winner. Congratulations, Ma'am April Diane C. Lagrada. Moving on to our fourth winner, Toyok Roleta. Congratulations, Ma Marian Don S. Hinete. You are our fourth winner of 500 pesos worth of grocery gift check. Ma Marian Don Hinete, congratulations. Four down, two more to go. And for us to know that, spin roleta. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Jonathan L. Petal Corin Papa Pets. Congratulations, you are our fifth winner for this afternoon, winning 500 worth of grocery gift check. Wow, the harus gonna my doctor so far, and we're down to our last winner. And for us to know that, Toyok Roleta. Indeed. Started and ended with a doctor. Congratulations, Dr. Esther Joyce B. Ganer from the Department of Anesthesiology or Anesthesia Department. Congratulations, Doc. Esther Joyce Ganer. There you have it, mga Galeras, our six lucky winners from the medical service. So stay tuned, nursing service, because Ato pang i-raffle ang six lucky winners coming from the nursing service. For you to know, just stay tuned. And at this point in time, of course, the pandemic has been a challenge for us since it started late or early last year, 2021. It has been the second year already of the COVID-19 pandemic. And let us reminisce in this video the life before the pandemic as well as life during the pandemic. Let's all watch this. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Hawks, and thank you, Mamarimar Jade Sahuga, for singing Sky Skyscraper for us. And of course, well, reminiscing the time before the pandemic, it was fun. And of course, now that there is the pandemic, just like what our medical center chief said during her inspirational message, let's live not just a new normal, but this is the lifestyle now. And this is life now. So we have to live a happy, more meaningful life even in the middle of a pandemic or even with COVID-19. Moving forward, mga kagalyaras, let's have the third batch of loyalty awardees for year 2021. Our fifth loyalty awardee for this year is Dr. Pamir Pamplona Aliego. Doc Pamir, as he is fondly called by his colleagues, is married with a son and daughter of this happy marriage and currently residing in the city of Tagbilaran. Doc Pamir graduated Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology at the Southwestern University last 1986 and of course passed the licensure examination the year after. He graduated his Doctor of Medicine at Guyas College of Medicine year 1992 and passed the licensure examination 1994. He spent his residency at GCGMH Department of Surgery dating August 1996 until 2001. Doc Pamir was employed as Medical Officer 3 from August 19, 2002 to June 9, 2015 and promoted as Medical Officer 4 on June 10, 2015, rendering service at the Emergency Medicine Department of GCGMH. His colleagues described him as a tight-lipped person, yet very approachable and easy to work with. Ladies and gentlemen, Kagaliadas, it is my distinct honor to present to you the fifth loyalty awardee for 2021, Dr. Pamir Pamplona Aliego.
once again, congratulations, Dr. Pamir Pamplona Aliego. 25 years of government service here at GCGMH. With that, congratulations, Dr. Aliego. Moving forward to our last but definitely not the least among the roster of awardees for this year's Loyalty Awards 2021 is considered and known as the strongman of Galliares. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Zalde Omandam Buak. Doc Zalde, as he is fondly called by his colleagues, hails from the city of Tagbilaran. He graduated Doctor of Medicine at Cebu Institute of Medicine in 1983. And after his medicine training, he took up Bachelor of Science in Nursing at University of Bohol in 1992. He became a fellow in Philippine College of Surgeons, fellow in Philippine Society of General Surgeon, and fellow in American College of Surgeons, member of Philippine Association of Training Officers in Surgery, and fellow in Academy of Medicine of the Philippines. Doc Buak, he was appointed as Medical Specialist 3 last March 1, 1996. And since then, was promoted as Medical Specialist 4 last September 27, 2014. His hobbies included traveling, investing, running, and playing tennis. Under his leadership in the Department of Surgery, the PSGS Residency Training Program Level 2 is fully accredited and it is valid from 2021 through 2026. As a leader and colleague, Doc, Zalde, uh, Doc Zalde's workmates find him to be down-to-earth, kind-hearted, passionate, visiting the ER and surgeries even on we ours to check on the patients as well as his colleagues. Truly, a man who is strong and humble at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, my distinct honor to present to you our sixth loyalty awardee for 2021, the head of the Department of Surgery of GCGMH, Dr. Zalde Omandam Buak. Once again, congratulations, Dr. Zalde Omandam Buak, loyalty awardee for 2021. 25 years is indeed quite a milestone, and it's another award or another feather in what is already a very colorful and decorated career. Again, congratulations to our awardees, Dr. Aliego and Dr. Buak. And to the rest of the awardees or loyalty awardees for year 2021 during this 121st Philippine Civil Service Anniversary. 
Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. At this point in time, mga kagalyares, we are going to draw the lucky winners from our nursing service. Of course, we already have winners from finance, winners from HOPS and the Medical Center Chief's Office, then the medical service, and of course, we're going to determine the winners from the nursing service. So, And the nursing service is the second largest service of GCGMH. I know that you are watching right now. You are excited and I'm equally excited as well. I hope mabunutan po ko karong hapuna. But nonetheless, we're asked to know the first winner from the nursing service, Spin Roleta. Congratulations! Our first winner is the supervisor of Surgical 2, Mamdina Maria Chato. Mamdins, congratulations! You are the first winner from the nursing service. And moving on to our second winner. And for us to know that, Tuyuk Roleta. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Donald V. Handayan. Ikaw ang second nga mananao coming from the nursing service. Two down, four more to go. So, patung wala pa kadaog, naapakay chance mo daog. Toyok Ruleta. Congratulations, Sir Neil Escobedo. You are our third winner of 500 pesos worth of grocery gift check. Wow, we're halfway already. Sa ato ang mga winners from nursing service, let the fourth one be known. And Tuyok Roleta. <laughs> Congratulations, Mam Ligaya Galino. You've just won 500 pesos worth of grocery gift check. Okay, upat na, then two more to go. And for us to know those two lucky winners, spin roleta. <laughs>
Wow, lucky boy indeed. Our nurse from the medical department, Mr. Glacello Marzo Polishanos. Glass, congratulations. And we're down to one more winner for the nursing service. Let's spin it, Roletta. From the nursing service, we have Mamnova Mari El Irag. Mamnova Mari El Irag, congratulations! You have won 500 pesos worth of grocery gift check. Congratulations from the uh, the winners from the nursing service, and congratulations everyone or all our lucky winners from our raffles. And sa tanang mga mananaog, just wait for the instruction on how to claim your prize okay okay so just wait for the instruction you will be informed on how to claim your prize so at this point in time mga kagaliyaras let's lend our ears our mind and our heart for the closing remarks coming from our chief of the medical and professional staff dr valeria sulatra Every September is declared as a civil service month pursuant to Proclamation Number 1050, Series of 1997. The Civil Service Commission, who is the lead agency spearheading the celebration, has introduced the 10-year overarching team transforming public service in the next decade, owning agile and future-ready servant heroes, reflecting the path the civil service has to take to build on the gains of modernization in the midst of the COVID pandemic, and emphasizing the important role of the Human Resource Management Office in building a competent and credible workforce in the new normal. I would like to express my warmest congratulations to the loyalty awardees for their dedication to government service and commitment to public trust. And to all who participated and made this activity a success, thank you very much. Let's all have a pleasant day and let's all be safe. Thank you so much, Dr. Valeria Solatra, for that closing remarks. And indeed, the 121st Civil Service anniversary has come to an end. But before we end this program, let me just have some announcement that the OPD or the outpatient department of GCGMH will now start accepting face-to-face -face consultation. So, tanang mga kagalyares na gusto nga magpakonsulta sa ato ang outpatient department, sunda lang ang giya sa pagpakonsulta sa OPD. The instruction is found sa ato ang FB page sa GIS, Governor Celestino Galyares Memorial Hospital official FB page. Ang pangita ato ang ato ang guidelines o saon para magpakonsulta sa ato ang outpatient department. Pwede sa rin yung bisitahon ang at to ang website na gcgmh.gov para makita ninyo ang ato ang QR code para ma-scan o makapag-schedule sa ato ang consultation. Ang Governor Celestino Galeras Memorial Hospital sa ato ang official page, wala pa ninyo na thumbs up or na like, please do like our FB page and also you can follow us in Instagram gcgmh official. And of course, Galeras also has its YouTube channel of course, named Governor Celestino Galliaras Memorial Hospital. You can visit our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share the videos that you have there. Okay, mga kagaliyaras, at this point in time,
that we just give our heartfelt gratitude to all the people who made this activity a resounding success. First, our Medical Center Chief, Dr. Ramutia Kismet de Rol Makuno, for supporting all our activities for the Civil Service Anniversary. Thank you also for our sponsoring service, Hospital Operations and Patient Support Service, headed by Ma Mary Grace Galgeto. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, thank you going out to our GCGMH Informations and Communications Office, as well as our IT section for providing us with a strong internet connection. And to the rest of the people who has been important and vital for this activity, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, let us not forget to thank the Samahang Empleyado ng Galiaras Hospital for the prizes that we are enjoying this afternoon. And with our president of SEGA, Dr. Rosendo Lopez III, daghan kaayong salamat. Okay, mga kagalyares, maokato ang ato ang 121st Philippine Civil Service Anniversary Closing Program. Okini si Nurse Mark na nagaingon live diri sa Celestino Galyares Memorial Hospital. So Galyares, so kind. Ug tungod kay pa may COVID-19, let us be the solution. Thank you. the dream that we created for all in the world upholding our commitment to provide the quality health care that we all need so galiares so kind embrace the love that we give through time hand in hand we celebrate life the service we provide so tungkol sa COVID-19. Protektahan natin ang sarili at mga mahal sa buhay. B-I-B-A! Be the solution sa COVID-19!